Right, folks, it's nice to have you along. It's, of course, Wednesday night where every week we take a look at what's happening in the world of club rugby. And, of course, as you know, at the moment, uh, for the last few weeks, we've seen the friendly cup, the friendly cup between police and Fora, Gardens and Blue Jets, and every week we've been covering a different team. This past weekend was, in fact, their uh, finals in the cup final and the uh, plate final. And, uh, of course, uh, it was a... Good result for Blue Jets. They took on Gardens in the uh, uh, cup final. Here are the highlights. Yeah, the guys was they, they they were very they were very upset because the rugby didn't go our way today. But okay, Blue Jets came out, and for the for the season, this was actually a great great decision making to to create a tournament for the younger guys, so that we can just go forward in our season and just get the rugby in us, man. So it was basically just for the enjoyment and for the love of the game. Look, we 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 got new players in now recently, but. The brotherhood started just bonding, man. We just became something big, man. Because the guys, they were very, they were very well overwhelmed. Finals, blue jets, but the brotherhood was there. They showed it today. They showed compassion, composure, everything. The guys, they were hot today. Yeah, the game was very. It was a very hard game today. I actually enjoyed this game. The players, blue jets, gardens, everyone enjoyed it. The supporters, the numbers was here. Everything was good. But the game went to Blue Z side. Uh, we unfortunately we lost by three points. But it's okay. Three points of difference is a learning curve as youngsters. I mean, Blue Jets is a super super C team, and we like in the zones. But there's something good for us. It's a great achievement. And from there we just take it, and we're gonna work on our on our structures and go forward in the new year, inshallah. Yeah, I think first of all, we need to say thank you to Fora and to police and obviously um, Blue Jets. I think one thing that we've demonstrated is that even within the protocols of the COVID uh, regulations, you know, within the parameters of those regulations, you can still play rugby. I think we, we played eight weeks. We made a success of it. Not a single incident, not a single reported case. So you can actually play because we must, we must be cognizant of the fact that COVID will be around for a long time. Rugby has to go on. So we need to find a way 
to play within the parameters of those regulations and we've done that. Look at the initial games. We played without spectators uh, here at the Kailitsa and police and in Fora. But because we're in the lead level one, we allowed spectators to come in. We checked with the unions as well. But we did follow the right protocols as well. So I think it was a plus for the players. At the finals, we had some spectators. Uh, I want to say congratulations to Blue Jets as well. We had this game almost in the bag. It was 24-11. One intercept try, 25-24 the final score. But we're happy with our progress because we're playing with a young team. The majority of that squad is like between 19 and 21. So we're building for next year. And at least we had an opportunity to test our structure. You know, the calls and everything. Create a rugby blueprint for, for, for gardens this year. And I think for all of the teams that play, it will count in their favour next year because at least, you know, some of the guys have now been without rugby for two years. At least we had an opportunity to play at least eight or nine or ten games. And I think that will benefit us. Yeah, yeah, first of all, um, I'd like to thank the Western Borrowings to give us such an opportunity to enjoy ourselves today, uh, especially in quite times like this. Yeah, so, yeah, finally we made it and we play against God and they give us quite, uh, quite competition. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm happy for my teammates and, and everyone and we perform. Yeah, it's quite a good feeling, you know, and yeah. We are, we are looking forward to these kind of occasions and we are looking to play and motivate people. This is what we play for, for people and you know, we play for each other uh, in the tournament. It's, 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 it's a good feeling because uh, this kind of, of, of tournament are just moaning our, our team to, to play good rap in future. Yeah, so yeah, I think this is quite a big occasion. Uh, we enjoy ourselves along the journey. Okay. Firstly, I just want to thank the Western Province uh, for the opportunity that they gave these clubs to, to play again. And I think the guys took it with both hands, especially uh, these four clubs, uh, Fora, Police, uh, Blue Jets and, and Gardens. And, and they made a big spectacle of it and, and they succeeded. And I think you know, it's just beneficial for, for, for the players and, and for the clubs itself. And not just that, it, it, grow, it grew friendships, it, it grew the network of rugby. Um, in between these clubs because some of these clubs never played each other before and here was a chance playing against each other but making new friends as well. Yeah, you know, four clubs, eight teams, one venue, with spectators. I think that was the best thing ever for today because now the players could enjoy themselves. They could actually um, show their skills, show their talent in front of people again because they only saw people in 2019 last where they played in front of people and now they had the chance to do that again and I think the guys wanted to, to show what they have and, and you know for, for them was was all about enjoyment and, and I think you know loving or loving the game that or playing the game that you love I think these guys are showed it today on the field as well. Yeah, you know, it was the final today and, you know, Thursday um, I've been with, uh, I've been helping at, at, at Blue Jets now for, for about a month um, and Thursday uh, Coach Dembani called me uh, and he said to me, hey Renzel, um, I'm not going to be there for this week, so you have to take over on Thursday and I was like, hey, and you know, just helping out, you know, being, being or just advising and now yeah, I am being the head coach for the, for the week. Um, but I think, you know, all in all, I'm proud of the guys, the, one, the way they played. Um, they kept to the structure. Sometimes, yes, they, they lost the plot a bit, but, but they, they stuck to their guns. And, and I think, you know, at the end, the game went down to the wire, 27-24, if I'm correct. Um, and I think, you know, at the end, the last two, five minutes of the game, I think that is where the guys actually 
came into their own where they showed what they can do and what they're about um, and I think you know they, they are well deserved winners and I think you know going forward in the 2022 season I think this has just been official for the guys you know keeping fit and it's all about keeping the momentum now going forward and just just coming to practice keeping fit keeping condition and I think 2022 season Super League C Blue Jets is going to be a, a, a team to watch out for. Right, so congratulations then to Blue Jets. They walk away uh, with the uh, cup final title in the um, uh, Friendlies Cup. Definitely a different take on uh, uh, club rugby, but fantastic to see that the teams were playing. They played for the last few weeks, and great to see just how active they are. Right, folks, that is a wrap from us then this evening. Uh, we will, of course, um, see all of you at these. Well, you will see the, the highlights, at least. We won't see you there, but we'll certainly see our players at the score. Western Province Club Rugby Sevens that starts this weekend. That's a wrap from us. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye.